Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video on learn-automation.com. This is Mukesh. Today I have a very interesting topic to cover. Recently I was facing this issue multiple times, so I thought to create video on this. So today we'll talk about how to solve this element is not clickable exception in Selenium. So let's get started with high level agenda. So we'll talk about what is element is not clickable at this point in Selenium. So this is just an exception. So we have different scenarios uh, when it comes and what are the different solutions to handle this. Then uh, I already published four solutions on my blog, but I have one more solution which is more reliable and it's very easy as well. Then uh, to avoid the code again and again, we'll create a library for this and we'll add into our framework. So what is element is not clickable at point exception in Selenium. Selenium will always try to click on an element on middle of the element. So I will show you uh, through example. As of now, uh, just read this theory part first. So for some browsers, you will not get the expected behavior because each browser have the different implementation. So sometime click operation will throw you element is not clickable at a specific coordinate. It will also provide you x and y coordinate so as per my uh, experience it mostly comes with chrome and safari so i will show you now it doesn't come with firefox and other browser it mostly comes with chrome and safari so the solutions which i have proposed in blog you can find the link in the description and uh, the easy one is you can try a different x path or else you can try using mouse over. I will show you now one by one. So let me go back to the Eclipse. But first of all, let me show you the scenario. So when you go to this login.yahoo.com, you can see there's one small checkbox. So there are two ways to uncheck this. Either you can click here, so it will get unchecked, or you can click here as well. So either you can check click on this checkbox or click on this text. So both the ways it works in Firefox but if you try to click directly here in Chrome it will throw you exception. Let create it so I will create a class and class name I will give yahoo mail check I will take public static void main and I will quickly write the code to start the browser. So web driver driver equal to new firefox driver i am using gecko driver here so i have already placed gecko driver in one specific location so it will not ask me again and again let me directly start with the application application i will provide here now let me provide implicit weight as well so that i can avoid some unnecessary sync issues implicit weight I will give 30 seconds even if you don't give it will not make any difference as of now because we are working on single web element so what I will do I will find that element and finally I will click it's very straightforward so if you simply right click and say inspect in fire path just inspect this checkbox so you can see even with firebug it is not allowing me to inspect it is not going here but if I forcefully see the ID is persistent right if I put mouse over then only it's getting highlighted but if I put directly mouse here it's not highlighting so let's take forcefully this ID ID is persistent here you can take the label as well but let's try with ID Now you will get some interesting point here. So let's run the scenario. By default, it will be unchecked. So it will click on it and it will check this particular checkbox. So it started and it unchecked now, right? Now let's try to run the same scenario in Google Chrome and you will see the different results. So I will copy paste here. And this time I will say Yahoo mail check Chrome. I will make a small change here in spite of Firefox. I will directly write Chrome driver and let me run the scenario now. It's 
started and you can see it's not clicking it's waiting for that element since I have given 30 second and it is still not clicking here and yes here you go you can see a long exception here so whenever you get this kind of exception don't worry about it just start in the reverse direction you can see the main exception is coming yahoo mail check chrome line number 18 so if i click here it will redirect me here and if i check the exact exception in the reverse direction first it will call the remote web element and so on and finally the exception will be element is not clickable at this point so this is the x and y coordinate now it says other element would have received the click so it says when you're trying to click on that particular checkbox that inside of that particular checkbox it is clicking somewhere else so the other x part so this is uh, like very straightforward scenario but i will show you how you can reach over to this now if i take this text and then click on it still it should work so you can see i have a label here and with this id so this id i will not take because this is very dynamic in nature so i will try to identify this using this text so you can see the text is coming here so i can directly identify using this text so i will write my own x path i will say search for a label where text equal to stay signed in and you can see one matching node is coming so what I will do, I will take this X path and now I will try to click. Okay, so now you will see it will not throw any exception, it will click directly. So it started another instance. And you can see it clicked here, so it got unchecked. Without any exception, it is working. So you can see uh, using different kind of X path or you can say some uh, relative X path will solve this issue but if you have a requirement that no you have to use the ID only then yes I have one more solution so let me create a copy again and this time I will show you through actions class and this is the reliable solution because even if you change the browser Safari, IE, Chrome IE, uh, and other browsers it will remain same so what I will do, I will still take the ID, but this time we have to use actions class. So I will create object of actions class. I will create object. So what exactly I'm trying to do, uh, let me show you manually first. I will put mouse over first, then I will click. This is the scenario which I'm trying. So using this actions class, we can perform move to element, which is nothing but your mouse over. So now you just see a very interesting point here. It will give you very information like it will move the mouse to the middle of the element. So this is what we want right now. And where we need to put mouse over. So I will say driver dot find element by ID. I will use the same persistent ID and now I will click so first mouse over then click and since we are using more than one operation so we need to call dot build dot perform if it is only one operation you can say dot perform but since we are using mouse over and click both we need to call dot build dot perform now even if you change the browser it will work so let me quickly run this test and you will see it will work without any exception so another browser started and yes you can see it worked so this is how you can try different scenarios uh, I would recommend you to create library for this so I already have one library folder created over here so I will quickly create one class called click element and I will click on finish let me create one small library public static void click and here 
I will copy paste this code. So you can see here two things are dynamic so you need ID. So let's make this method click by ID. So what we will do we will accept web driver as an argument. I will say L driver means local driver and I will accept ID as a parameter. So whatever driver I will get I will pass here and this ID is dynamic now. So whatever ID user will pass it will come here. So now it become dynamic. So as of now I created one library for ID. Sorry, uh, one library for ID uh, locator. If you want you can create multiple methods like click by xpath, click by CSS and so on. Now it's time to call this library. So if you don't want to use this, what you can do is just call click element dot click by id pass the driver and pass the id so driver we already have here and id i will pass this one and let me remove this code right now the code looks also fine it says i guess we just change something here Click by ID. Just allow me a moment. Should not throw any error. Let's repeat this again. Click element dot click by ID. Pass the driver and the ID. There's some other issue, don't worry. Save. Click by ID is undefined for the type click element. Just one minute. Yes, seems some temporary issue. Yes, since Eclipse is an open source, so sometime you will get some unnecessary exception and problems. Now let's run it again. Functionality wise, nothing will change because we have not changed anything. Only we have structured our code. Yes. So now you can see it's working fine. So like this, you can create multiple methods and you can call them. I already have different solutions so you can also try if you click here you will find the different solution on my blog so you can try that as well so I will share this link in the description so you can go ahead and check I have already shown if you are still not uh, getting the solution you can try using X and Y coordinate you can try to update the Chrome version and so on okay that's all I have for today so this is very good thought which I got from internet. Gaining knowledge is the first step to wisdom. Sharing it is the first step to humanity. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you still have any doubt, uh, just do the comment below. Or you can send me email as well. Mukesh at the learn automation.com If you like this video, please share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel and hit the like button below. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.